Hello, today we're going to talk about hidden properties. And so I'm looking at Excel 2013, random worksheet, it doesn't really matter what I'm working with here. Uh, the same set of skills applies to words, so that's kind of nice. So I call them hidden properties, probably a better name for what I'm referring to would be document properties. These are the things that don't show up on a printed worksheet or even the digital format. They're the kind of things that are displayed in the backstage view. So if you click on the file tab, you are looking at the backstage view. It's kind of a buzzword, I guess, term. So I'm, I'm talking about this stuff right here. Notice this in related people, it tells you the author of the document last modified by. Um, this is kind of populated from another section. I'll show you where this information comes from. I didn't put that there, it just was there. Kind of like the size, right? Documents have some properties. Under the options tab, this is the person who registered the software. So that's where that information came from. I also want to point out this checkbox because sometimes that can cause you some problems. Notice what this is saying is that even if you change the author of the document, it's not going to matter unless you uncheck that checkbox. Anyways, not really what I want to talk about. Let's talk about those hidden properties. This part's straightforward. If you want to add an author, well, you just click down here and add an author. If you want to put a category in here, Right, you just add a category. I'm gonna put some title, tags, things like that. Go ahead. And so not rocket science adding them, just so long as you know where they're at. They're in the backstage view under the info group, and they're over here. Notice that you've got this thing right here. If you click this, it really should say expand, but it doesn't. There's more stuff. There's status, there's subject. Most of this stuff is not particularly relevant. Maybe it would be depending on the situation. This is just one of those things that I get questions about from time to time. If someone sees it on an exam or they're just trying to modify the properties of a file. So that's how you work with it. Really, there's not much to it other than just understanding where it is. And this is called the backstage view. Another question that I get sometimes is they'll be asked to like remove all the hidden data from the file. And so you could kind of go in here manually and just remove a lot of things. But if you go to check for issues and inspect document. So when you inspect a document, I'm going to say no, don't worry about that. You are looking at, I'm going to call these the hidden properties. These are the things that are not going to jump out at you when you're just looking at a workbook. Perhaps they're hidden to a particular view or maybe they're not there. Oftentimes you'll be asked to look for just a particular like comments or annotations. I'm going to inspect for all of these hidden properties. And you notice like most things were not found. Document properties and personal information. That's what I refer to as hidden properties. Notice this is the method for removing them all just in one big shot. Why would you wanna do that? I do not have a good uh, example of why you would, but I've seen that come up on exams many times. All right, I close it. And all that really did was just wipe out all this stuff. Could you have done that manually? Uh, for the most part, yes, but uh, that's just one of those questions that you run across from time to time. And now you know how to inspect a workbook and remove the hidden properties. Thanks for watching.